Um, Face of Freedom came about uh, four years ago after working quite a bit with uh, Arlene Fenton to raise funds for Maggie's and other breast cancer care uh, organisations in the area. The reason being that we felt it was good to bring uh, together the, the young people who had probably no experience of uh, cancer and cancer survivors and the cancer survivors together. It worked very, very well um, in the fact that we had two um, different uh, you know, poles of people are poles apart uh, and working together and they, f they, work, they worked so well together and each of them fed off one another. We had a tremendous shows. Um, many of the early ones were um, us finding our feet, um, but the subsequent ones, especially the last two uh, and especially this one, as this is done, being done in retrospect, uh, were, uh, were excellent. This is due to an organisation that we have called Network of Friends, which um, in which we bring together a lot of people in the area uh, who give their time for little or in many cases no pay whatsoever. Um, Murray from PBM, uh, we have uh, Liam and Stuart Man Alive, the Fat Sam's people are always so, so helpful. Uh, they can't really do enough. Ali, the technician from Fat Sam's is just invaluable and um, the amount of time he spends um, and effort he puts into actually helping us stage the shows over the last two years. Uh, the help we get from Nora, Gus and uh, Colin from the organisation itself. We um, also and have a lot of support from the shops in the area. Uh, this is again invaluable as it is part of it as being a fashion show. And many other hairdressers in the area give us support and many of the makeup people. Um, most of these people give their time freely and, and more than willingly, and it is their free time. Uh, our, our girls, our staff, have always given their time. Um, I don't often get around to ask, actually asking their permission, but they always, always come up trumps and they always give their time. And uh, sometimes you have uh, maybe two shows in a week and I'm sure they do complain a little bit, but not too loudly. And I do try and make it up to them by giving them back time. Uh, so it is successful. We hope to carry on. I hope it carries on a lot longer than even if Freedom are just involved and uh, myself and Kezia and Mary are involved. Uh, the, we do get involved in other organisations. We do a lot for guide dogs. We are doing another guide dog show in 2011. We've worked with cystic fibrosis. The, the great thing about it is, from the point of view of Freedom Hair Experience, is that we have uh, so many experiences that we get from the people we work with. Whichever, uh, whichever community we work with, whether, whether it's with cystic fibrosis, with guide dogs, with Maggie's, with chemo room, whoever, they all have the story to tell. And my girls that, and, and myself, sometimes never hear these stories and these stories actually add to, to our knowledge as human beings and as hairdressers um, as we converse with people all day and when people ask us about the charities the girls and I myself have got to pass on the message that we receive from the cancer survivors or from people who spend their, a lot of their time with guide dogs or with Bray disabled for the, the, the driving for the disabled I could go on and on about the charities we've been involved in. We're always available and we're always trying to help uh, because we do believe strongly in giving back to the community that helps support us in, in what we do. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot more people that I, that I haven't included in this. Uh, you know, my, uh, my daughter definitely has taken over from me as far as the organisation and choreo choreography of the show goes. Um, Kit Clark always helps us with the mix and the music. Uh, the current on the 2010 show, he actually performed on stage. So all these people that we have and we can pull on, um, give us their time, and we're very, very grateful. But even more so, we're very grateful to the audiences that come along and continue to support us. And I hope that they see a difference in how we've developed as uh, event organisers and and raising funds and awareness for uh, 
the, the charities in Dundee and Tayside and in Fife. We'll, we'll try and do our best uh, as, as long as we keep going. Thanks very much.